Hello everybody on YouTube, it's your boy the Memphis XL. Alright, back at you with the 100 days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Where every day for 100 days, we're dueling with a different deck every single day. Today, day 73, few things to talk about. First off, we're trying out Battling Boxers, which is an old rank 4 archetype, basically based around Exceed Summoning. And uh, th this may look like there's a lot of weird things in here, but we're, we're trying a different version of Battling Boxers with some links. Some synchros. Yes, I can make Trishal on occasion. And so we're going to go ahead and show this deck off and go to EDO Pro. I'm going to just do some exceeds, some synchros, some links, all sorts of shenanigans. So real quick, shout out to Mr. Harry Yu who asked for today's deck. Thanks, my dude, for having me take another look at good old battling boxers. As well, I want to thank you guys for 330 subscribers on the good old YouTube. Man, we're, we're getting, I just, I just announced 325 subs the other day. So we're getting like right along. That's it's beautiful. Thank you guys very, very much. But regardless of all that, let's go ahead. I'm going to show off this deck. Real quick, I'm going to read off the cards we're using in today's deck. Uh, so for our monster lineup, in the main deck, we're going to be using three Cockadoodledoo, two Battling Boxer Glassjaw, two Battling Boxer Shadow, two Skullmeister, two copies of Evil Swore Mandragora, three copies of Battling Boxer Switch Hitter, two copies of Lindbergh, three copies of Battling Boxer Spire, Three copies of Battle and Boxer Headgear, two Battle and Boxer Veil, one copy of Unknown Synchron, three copies of Battle and Boxer Spirits, one Rank Up Magic the Seventh One, one Foolish Burial, one Monster Born, one Scapegoat, one Double or Nothing, two copies of Living Fossil, three copies Torrential Tribute, two copies Exceeds Block. For our extra deck, we have one Link Karibo, one Mascarena, one Nightmare Phoenix, one Avramax, one Utopia Double, one Evil Swarm Excite on Night, one Baguska, one Battle and Boxer Lead Yoke, one Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser, one Battle and Boxer Star Cestus, one number 39 Utopia, one C105 Battle and Boxer Comet Cestus, one Draco Berserker of the Tenyi, one Scarlight Red Dragon Arc Fiend, and Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bear. The side deck, it, it, it's not that impressive this time around. You know, Blue Flame Swordsman, if you want another level 4, they can search out Fire Warriors. Uh, you got your Mass Chameleon, if you want a different tuner monster. They can actually special summon some of your monsters here. You got Hat Tricker, if you want more presence on board. Another Living Fossil, if you want to revive more stuff. And I, I, I thought about Durandal, just because you can you know, search out your Fire Warriors. But it's not 100% necessary. But you can play it if you want to. So, all that said, let's go ahead and get old EDO Pro and show this deck off. Have ourselves a good time. Just see what we get today. All right, to our first opponents. We're going to be trying... We can go first or second with this deck. Really depends on the hand. Let's go ahead and go second see what happens. Battling boxes are all about battling. So, I think we should go second. All right, what do we got here? We have an interesting opening hand. I've got my unknown synchro. I can make Trishula right now if I want to. I could make myself a Trish. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so playing some Ignister action here. That could be a very long turn on his part. Because Ignister is one of those archetypes that likes to meander a little bit. Just a wee little bit of meandering. So, we'll talk a little bit about the Battling Boxes. If you don't remember Battling Boxes, they're an old uh, Zexal archetype. It's all about rank 4 exceeds spamming. Now, it, it's it's a bit of a weird archetype, honestly. The, the best cards lock them into battling boxers, unfortunately. Like, not not Spar. His Spar is weird, too, because he locks you out of the battle phase when you summon him. You can special summon Spar if you have a battling boxer on the field, which is very nice for exceeds play. But again, the battling boxers can't do battle the turn you do that which is just it, it's a very weird thing it's more of a first turn option at least back in the day kind of makes me wish that battling boxes would get new support not gonna lie i mean aliens aliens just got a new link monster revealed and a new main deck monster so i, I still don't understand what konami just picks like random archetypes and things to fix up i mean i know aliens needed more fixing up than battling boxes but still i'm just saying I'd like Battling Boxers to get something, too. And then, of course, Volcanics. But that's... The, we all know about Volcanics, okay? They're going to get support at some point. So, this guy, like I said, he's meandering. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead until he's done. And we'll see what we do to get around his board. 
Alrighty, my opponent has finished his turn. Let's see. As I figured, he made the arrival at Ignister. So, a lot of things we can do in this situation. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and special summon cock -a doodle doo We can summon him if my opponent has a monster and I do not. He'll be treated as a level 4. And this is our tuner monster. So, very nice there. Let's go ahead and summon out Goblinberg. Goblinberg will summon a monster from our hand. We'll summon forth our Shadow Boxer. Hello. That'll put our monster in defense. And I could summon Spar, but then I'll be locked out of battle phase. I don't want to do that just yet, if you don't mind. So we're going to go ahead and... Hmm, thinking. Thinking, thinking. Yeah, the fact that he has this... He's got this 4K beat stick that's immune to everything. I'm going to have to destroy it by other means. And by other means, I mean my Utopia Double Gambit. Because I won't quite kill him, but it will do a heck of a lot of damage. That'll teach him to not be making no arrivals at no Ignistas. Got that, mister? There you go. So now we'll make ourselves 10,000. And beat over this, and that'll be game right there. Because he had to pay some life because of that one of his cards. I don't remember which one. Can he use a Chi-Chi? I don't think he can, because that's immune to everything. Alrighty, so there's... More or less an OTK hunting day. Ignistas, what are you doing, man? You have a 4K immune to everything beat stick and you still get OTK'd? Inexcusable. Inexcusable. But <laughs> regardless, that was just like a basic summer thing I could do with this deck. I could have probably made Avermax done the same thing. I could have done a lot of other things. But, you know, that, that worked just fine. Utopia double. Good in a pinch. Good in a pinch. But let, let's hope to do some other things next duel. I want to do some more exceeds, and I want to try and summon Trishla and pull a common a cat. Okay, second opponent. Hopefully a better opponent. Last opponent was okay. I want a slightly better one. Let's see here. All right. An interesting hand yet again. Opponent has no extra deck. Implying... Yeah, this is Counter Fairies. Counter Fairies. I fee. All right. Glass jaw, punch him in the face with your big fists. Glass jaw, punch him now. Yeah, what do you have to say to that? What do you got to say to that, Mr. Counter Fairy? That's what I thought. Do nothing. Oh. Honest is also honestly a good choice. Why not? All right. Well, that's unfortunate. I was kind of... <laughs> okay, not going to lie. I was kind of hoping that would work. All right. Well, let me think about this. All right, we'll try that. Let's go for Battle and Box of Spirits. And hey, that'll actually work. So basically, Battle and Boxer Spirits, you mill one card, revive a Battle and Boxer. You just need to have a Battle and Boxer in the grave to do this. But I can bring back my glass, Joe. That's something. That's something. He didn't even try to negate it. He might not have a spell negate. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe he's just, like, gearing up for something. I mean, he's got that Battle of Artemis. We'll see. We'll see. Dang old Bountiful Artemis. Yeah, because now he's going to play one of his counter traps. Because if he negates my... Here's the thing. If he negates me, he gets a draw card. Yep. Vandalgion. Okay. Okay. I, normally, I don't care for uh, counter fairy decks. But... He is playing Vandalgion, the Dark Dragon Lord. Yeah, I gotta give the boy some props for that at the very least. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna have to try and bait some stuff out here. Goblinberg, indeed. So, yeah, he'll probably solemn me or something. Yep, there's solemn judgment. Just solemn judgment, why don't you? Alright. Yeah, this is one of those... This is one of those situations where we're up against a deck that's just like no to everything. Although I am curious as to why he has no extra deck. He could be... Playing some cards in there just to use, like, Pot of Extravagance. I'm not sure why he's not doing that. When this card's destroyed, battle, send to the grave, target a counter trap, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we've taken damage. I can summon Batlin Boxer Veil in defense mode. And then gain back the life I just lost. This will give me a monster on the board, as well as being a wall against the Harvest Angel, who is not big enough to beat my monster. Although, again, props on this guy for playing old school techs. I don't, I mean, I do remember Harvest Angel Wisdom. He's not a, 
He's not anything new to, uh, to uh, the counter fairies. There we go. Alrighty, glass jaw. I need you to punch more things. Let me think about this. Uh, yes. We are going to make this guy. Battle and Boxer Nova Kaiser. And I'm going to use his effect. Attaching monster from the grave as material to make him bigger. So let's go ahead and attack over Battleful Artemis. Because if this guy's destroyed, he gets a thing. Alright, again, old school tech card. I gotta say, my opponent likes him on some old school stuff. Freaking negate attack in 2021. Who is this guy? This guy is one of them old people playing old school stuff. Probably even playing Waboku in there somewhere. Somewhere there's a Waboku. But he hasn't drawn his other Honest, so that's a good thing. So let's see here. Okay, let's summon out Headgeared. Headgear dumps one of our battling boxers to the grave when he's summoned. Uh, doesn't really matter who. See, that's the thing. Like I said, battling boxers need more support. They really, really do. Um, I'm trying to think what they could get to... Let me think. Like, if there was a battling boxer, like a level 4, that you could discard a battling boxer in order to summon it from the hand, that would be good. That would be genuinely good for battling boxes. Because then you could set up the grave for switch hitter and, you know, just do stuff, man. I'm just saying that would be a good thing. I don't know why Konami doesn't just give battling boxes a, a simple way to special summon a monster. I'm not even going to... I mean, I would also ask for another Xyz monster and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't know if my opponent's going to... I don't know what Konami's going to do that or not. We don't know. So we'll see. He probably has another... Oh, no, he does not have a negate for this. Okay. So this is why we made Nova Kaiser. He's destroyed. You can summon battling boxes from the grave. Equal to the number of materials that were on him. Huzzah. So we're going to continue to attack Bountiful Artemis because I want him to die. And target a counter trap in the grave. All right. I'll, I'll kill the Harvest Angel mostly because I want to do damage. He'll get back a counter trap, but I, I need to do other things. Yeah, I figured as much. You reuse that for you, you, you reuse that little old card, why don't you? Uh, uh, I think. Oh man, I, I missed. I missed the damage. I should have brought back Shadow Boxer. I made a slight mistake. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. Let me think about this. I'm. I'm thinking. Do I want to make lead yoke or? Yeah, I'm gonna make lead yoke. Why not? I could make Offer Max right now, but I have a feeling this is another counter trap. Although, he has only 900 life. It's probably Solemn Judgment or something, knowing this guy. Knowing this guy, that's probably what it is. All right, we'll end our turn. We should be good for at least one more turn. I mean, we already know he has Negate Attack. Another Bountiful Artemis. I see. All right. And he didn't even... This guy didn't even bother attacking me. Now I'm slightly insulted. Ever so slightly insulted, my friend. Not gonna lie. Alright, headgear number two. Go ahead and use headgear number two. And speaking of headgear, why isn't there a battling boxer that does anything in the graveyard? I mean, I know there's counterpunch, but he's level three. I didn't want to run counterpunch today. You can't, if you're playing more purist battling boxer, I would highly recommend that guy. Because he's just so good. Alright, um. Might as well attempt to bait out uh, one of these. I don't really have a reason not to do that. Let's go ahead and hit this one. Alright, there's the gate attack. We'll see. Even if he has another mirror force, lead yoke can protect my monsters. Or if he has another <laughs> another negate attack. Okay. Okay, okay, you. You trickster. I, I'm really starting to wonder, what is this guy's like game plan? I mean, I get all the negates. I get. Ooh, hey. Shadow. Shadow, uh, he can be special summon, Shadow. You just have to detach material from Xyz monster. Summon him out. And Lead Yoke has a very nice effect. Whenever it materials detached from him, he gets bigger. And Glass Jaw, because he goes to the grave, I can get back my Nova Kaiser. Ha-cha. 
So now I can remake my Nova Kaiser. There you go. See, right now we're just doing the the uh, the battle and boxer stuff. I really want to do some of my synchro stuff, but I have to make. I, I need to have some more tuner action here. I mean, I had cockadoodle do, but it was just not meant to be. So let's go ahead, attack in the Artemis again, and that'll be game. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. You know what? This guy tried to lock us out of everything. But you know what? Even his fancy old school texts were no match for good old fashioned punch to the face. Punch to the face, the archetype. Alrighty. We're on a good roll. You know, it's a thing with this format. There's a lot of more casual decks and things. So it's a perfect time for battling boxes. So let's go ahead for duel number three. And might do a bonus duel, see how it goes. But for now, duel number three incoming. All right, our next opponent is apparently playing Dragon Maids. Or maybe they were playing Dragon Maids. I don't know. I have to play Dragon Maids tomorrow because that's tomorrow's deck. I'm actually almost done with all these deck requests. I've been doing deck requests uh, since when? Since day 50. I've been doing nothing but deck requests since day 50. It's been amazing. There's so many people contributing to the show. But it's been a while since I've made a deck that I picked myself. Not that I'm complaining or nothing, I'm just saying it's been a while. I hope I remember how to pick my own deck. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to do... I, I'm not sure if I want to do the Aliens first or the Cyber Derricks first. I mean, the Aliens are a bit fresher. That'll probably get me more views, but I don't really care about, like, that sort of... I more, I more care that the people who find my channel like it, rather than, like, you know, conform to the algorithm. That's not really what I do. But, yeah, definitely Aliens and Cyber Derricks, just because they got the new stuff. Especially Cyber Darks, because I played them the other day, and, you know, I didn't get to do all the new stuff. Didn't get to do the new stuff. And the new stuff basically just, you know, makes it so that they're more uh, combined with Cyber Dragons. Stuff like that. Alright, so this guy is definitely doing something with machines. I have to say that he is doing something... something... All right, River Stormer 2500. Let's see here. Okay, let's special summon Cockadoodle. We'll special summon that dude. And then, oh, that's a good question. What do we do from there? Uh, cuz I've got Spar. I've got See, if I had if there was more special summonable things in battle boxes, I could do more cuz I could make What's this do? Uh, this card destroys a monster, blah, 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 blah. I do have Xyz block. Um, yeah, I should probably... I should probably just make lead yoke. As much as I want to do other things, I will... I am going to summon these, damn it. I, I, I am fully capable of doing so. Why can't I summon... Why can't I... Oh, right, because I need battling boxers. All right, well, actually, you know what? Screw it. That'll work just fine. That'll work just fine indeed. You know what? That's fine. Uh, I mean, I could have made Kaiser too, but this this will work just fine. You know what? Screw it. I'm summoning one of my synchros regardless of what this guy wants. I don't care what you want, little Billy. All righty. So get rid of Spar. Summon out our Shadow Boxer. Our monster will become 3,000. I can't do battle phase this turn. But I can make other thing. I could make Draco Berserker have another negate. Well, it's not a negate, but a banish. Um, or I can make Scarlight get rid of his monster. What does this do? Tribute a machine, Link, special summon in defense mode. You know, I do. Uh, special summon monsters on the field as possible. Blah blah. blah. Okay, I don't want to do that then. I am just gonna make Draco Berserker. So if he uses this effect, his monster will be the banish. Okay, so that'll be that turn. And yes, I, I could have done different things. Definitely could have done something different there, but you know what? I like this. This will be fine. So, take an Earth Machine, add to hand, or send to grave. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye, Stormer. That way, Stormer's gone for good. He'll be gone. He's banished. He's not going to be in his graveyard so he can be getting. And yeah, this guy's going for desk boots. As I suspected, it's the desk boots. Deskbot 003, the start em up play. No. 
I'm gonna have to say no to that young man. I know how powerful that card is. All right, so Lead Yoke is now gonna be a 3,800 beat stick, which means his Citadel, as strong as it is, cannot get rid of Lead Yoke, because Lead Yoke is bigger than Machina Citadel. That's right, my my Lead Yoke is bigger than you. I don't know what you were thinking. I mean, he can get rid of Draco Berserker, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? What can you do? Oh, what can you do? All righty. What, you, what is your plan here? I stopped your desk boots. Uh, hola, oh, hello. Uh, hi. I don't know who this is. Thinking. Okay. Take all the time you need to think, Mr. Dragon Maid. It's all good. I, I don't... I don't. Okay, so he is going to use Citadel's effect. He's going to get rid of my Draco Berserker. Dang it, I kind of liked my Draco Berserker. He was my brother. He was my Synchro brother from another mother. I had a lot of level 8 Synchros I could have picked. He was the one I wanted. Alrighty, so let's go ahead for a Goblin Bug. Goblin Bug. Honorary Battle and Boxer Monster Supreme. And I kind of wish that Utopia Double could attack double or directly and all that good stuff. That doesn't work. So I'm going to make Nova Kaiser be like, hello. And then my monster's going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and attach another material. We're going to attach Boxer. Doesn't really matter. And we'll attack our opponent directly. So we're in a decent spot. It really depends on whether or not he has the right skill. I mean, he has a couple... Um, He's got 0, 6. I know that. I think he has another scale, though. Though I don't think he has two different scales. I think he has, like, two of the same, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll see. Yeah, sadly, Lead Yoke is now useless. He can't do much for us at the moment. But at least we got Nova Kaiser. So if anything bad happens, I can just bring back some more monsters. It all depends on whether he gets 0, 3 or not. Damn it, I had to say 0, 3. Uh, zero three. There you are. You're you're gonna wreck my day, aren't you? You're gonna you just gonna just destroy me, aren't you, Mister Zero Three? All right. So yeah, Zero Two comes out. That lets him search any of his uh, desk boots. They'll probably get his other scales so we can pendulum summon. I would imagine. I I played desk boots a few times. You know, it, it's basically the same engine, just like you know Zero Three. Oh no, he got another Zero Three. Um, I don't know why he got another zero three. 3 Maybe he's setting up for next turn. Um, I don't know. Because that doesn't work when it's special summoned. It only works when it's normal summoned. Okay, there's zero six. 6 That's the scale of 1. Okay, he did have two scales. All right, a 5 and a 1. Now he's going to pendulum summon something rather big. Let's see. We'll see. I mean, we already have... We know he has 0, 3. Does he have anything else, though? I don't know. I would imagine. I would imagine he has at least one other card. He wouldn't just put these scales down, would he? I don't think so. That seems like a dumb move. Dustbot players, not too dumb. They're pretty smart about... Oh, that's bad. That is the opposite of good. Machine dupe in desk boots is like free candy. It's like candy for the babies. You know how most times... You taking candy from babies? This is the candy that the babies got. And that spots are the babies. Just just imagine them in diapers, trust me. But yeah, he's got his machine dupe. So he's basically just getting two free searches. That's not good. I mean, granted, he's got all this field full of monsters, but it's, you know he'll just link some of these away. Do his pendulum summon. Yeah, Despot 05, and I'm guessing another 05. He's going to try and make Infinity Dragon and beat me up. Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do. And I did not pack an anti I, 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 I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Didn't do it. Didn't do it. I was like, not everyone's playing Cyberdarks, but no. Everyone's still playing Infinity in 2021. All right, so now he's got he's to gotta link some stuff away. Or conversely... Okay. Okay, he's just trying to beat over me with the death bots. Okay. Um Yeah, they both work. Oh boy, now they're both they're gonna be huge. How big is this? 
Nine thousand. Ouch. That's a lot of damage. Except you kind of messed that up a little bit. Not gonna lie, you messed it up just a smidge. Alrighty, Deskbot, 500 deck defense for any Deskbot you control to the end of this turn. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what I can do about that because... Well, I've got stuff. I don't have a thing I can, like, make... I mean, if I could make... Let's see. If I could have made Baguska, then things would be good. But I can't make Boguska, so is irrelevant. So I'm gonna have to go defensive and end my turn. I'm rather surprised you didn't link a few of these off and make, like, Infinity. That's actually rather surprising to me. Maybe he just really wanted to hit me with Deathspot 003. Maybe he was just like, I want to go for 03? That's what I like to do? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. I, 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 I was talking about how smart the desk boot players are, but he made a kind of dumb move. We'll see. We'll see. Because now Nova Kaiser's dead. Then I can bring back all those monsters. I mean, three monsters is better than none. So, one. Put everything in defense mode. Because this guy didn't put anything in attack mode. I don't know why he's not putting his monsters in attack mode. But it, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I honestly am just lost for words at this point. Like, I was giving this guy all this credit for all the good stuff he was doing. And all the candy he had in his pockets. But now he's just kind of like, no. So yeah, Glassjaw is going to be dead. What can he do? Glassjaw is going to go off. And uh, does it really matter who we get back? Not really. Not really. Really, just let me think about this. I'm really wishing I had... What's his face? I wish I had Utopia Lightning right now. Oh, uh, the one time you want Lightning over Double, and there he is. I could go for Excite on Night. Hmm. That is a tempting thing, because then I could blow up his board. Uh, granted, these do... Let's see, Target Despot in the Grave Summon it. Okay. Okay. So let me think about this. Alright. This may or may not work. Hmm. Should I just go for Exciton Knight? Once per chain during your main phase or your opponent's battle phase. Your opponent has more cards than you. Yeah, it has to be per chain. Hmm. My main phase or the opponent's battle phase. You know what? This might not work, but this will be funnier if this works. I'm going to make Star Cestus. I'm going to make more or less Battle and Boxer Boss Monster. And I'm going to beat into his Despot. So I'm going to attack into his 0, zero 3. And then Battle of Battle of Monster, Test Material, Negate the Effects of Punch Monster until the end of the turn. Yes, there you go. I'm going to negate your effects. I'm going to negate your effects. You can't be destroyed by battle. And let's see, opponent takes any damage you would have taken from that battle. But yeah. Basically, this is going to make it so... His monster's huge, but he takes all the damage. Haha, -ha, that worked. <laughs> See, you guys thought I was going to go for, like, like Sighton Knight. That would be boring. No. We go for Star Sessus on here on this channel, and we destroy the death spots with our own power. That's what we do. All right, so there's a good duel against the death boots. Uh, again, if he had been a little smarter about it, he probably would have run us over. But he wasn't, so there you go. Um, yeah, that's probably going to be it for time. Um, I mean, I did summon a synchro. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's going to have to be time. So let's go for the end screen, and uh, we'll talk more about Batman Boxers. All right, yeah, everybody, the Batman Boxers of 2021. We went 3-0. We went for, against some fairly decent opponents. Uh, the only thing I don't like, I didn't get to dip into the pool of links and synchros as much as I wanted. But then again, Battle and Boxers has always been an Ixie's focused archetype. So we were able to do that just fine. I mean, we did the stuff. We summoned all three of our Battle and Boxers uh, minus the Chaos number. But, you know, that happens. Regardless, it was an all right day. You know, we did the things we wanted to do. Uh, and yes, you can summon Trish. You just special summon this guy and then... 
either summon Goblinberg or go with Spar, and then you make Trishula. It's not that hard. It just didn't happen today. So I guess I'm just not going to be as good as Common a Cat. Sadness. Okay, but regardless of that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And uh, next time, like I said, we're up with uh, some Dragon Maids. And then one other fan suggestion after that. And then I got to start making my own decks again. So, hope to see you guys again next time. Your boy Memphis signing out. Take care.